What's up, YouTube? This is Red Derrick 32, part 20. Make sure you like and subscribe. There you are. Here I am. Come on, let's go. Let's go where? And why are you so riled up? Today is a great day, Arthur. Today is the day they are going to hang Colm O'Driscoll. That's uh, so. Rather they hang him or I shoot him. Oh, they are gonna hang him. Yeah, and not before time. That boy's been on the gallows more than most. I wouldn't count anything until his neck's broke. Well, nor would I. Which is why, despite us being wanted men, we're gonna attend the event ourselves. And follow him onto the scaffold? Well, let's hope not. But if I could see that son of a bitch breathe his last, I think I'd die a happy man. We are gonna disguise ourselves. In this? In this. Okay. Come on. Well, don't we just look the part? We'll cut through the alley to get to the gallows. If we keep our weapons holstered, our disguises on, and our wits about us. Mrs. Adler, might I say, being a fancy woman of Saint Denis shoots you. I'd dress up like the Queen of Sheba if it meant seeing that son of a bitch swing. Colm hung me up, nearly butchered me. I don't mean I'm comfortable in this woolen coat. You made it out of that predicament, as I remember, Mr. Morgan. My husband weren't so lucky. You lost your husband. I lost my darling Annabelle. That poor boy, Kieran. We've all lost something because of Colm. And that is why we will shepherd him to eternity. Amen to that. Now keep those fingers off those triggers, because we'll need cool heads and calm dispositions to see this done. <laughs> Practice what you preach, brother. Whatever do you mean? Are you going to keep your cool? Really? When you seem to lose it all so often now. This doubting and questioning of yours? I miss the old Arthur. Don't we all? Hey, you two quit it. We all got a job to do. We're all in rough agreement about how we're doing it, as far as I can tell. Exactly. We'll get it done, all right. All right, then. Come on. We got a hanging to witness. Look here. Don't the public love an execution? See that pair of assholes? Sure. They're Combs boys. Yes, I think so. What a surprise. I'm glad we're here. What are they pointing at? I don't know. We gotta follow them and find out. Yeah. Oh, here comes somebody. Stay here. Don't do nothing. Go brush that horse, officer. Yes, sir. I will. The crowd came to see a show. We don't want to disappoint them. I guess they did miss their chance to see John swing by his neck. Hey, hey. You know I wasn't going to let it come to that. Well, I guess I don't know what I know no more. And I guess this isn't the time to question either my decisions or yours. Here and now, Como Driscoll's going to get his due. He's turned down there. Play it ain't the first time. Yep. Let's go. Quiet. So what do you think? Paul's up on the roof. And once he starts shooting, we have to have our wits about us and move fast. Yeah, I guess we faced worse than this before. Sure. Let's get to it. Yeah. So, 
They got a guy up on the roof overlooking the gallows. Find a way up there on one of these verandas through a building maybe and get him and do it silently. Well, obviously I'm gonna do it silently. I wanna see this bastard swing. Sometimes a man is so savage, the only way to deal with him justly is by savagery. Colm O'Driscoll is one such man. He has murdered, tortured, robbed, stolen, raped, and abused for a decade across five states seemingly with impunity. Today, justice catches up with him. <laughs> As well you may. I've been a bad man. Silence! These charges This are... is not a court where you shall be tried. This is a place where your sentence is to be carried out. And your sentence, Colmo Driscoll, is that you are to be hanged by the neck until you are dead. This is not a task we take lightly. It is not a task we enjoy. But it is a task we must carry out if our civilization is to prosper. Gentlemen, are we ready? Call Modrisco. May God, in his infinite wisdom, have mercy upon your soul. Whenever you are ready. <laughs> now you know how it feels to watch somebody you love die. You ruined my life!
got him. Let's just get out of here. Go. How you get on, Arthur? Well, and we saw the bastard hang okay, but the whole thing ain't gonna save us. I guess that's one less thing to worry about. I guess compared to the entire government, in the end, Como Driscoll didn't seem like such a worry. A letter came for you. Oh, okay. I know it's from that Mary. Mary? She ain't worth it, Arthur. Who is? My dear Arthur, I don't know if you received the letter I wrote to you from Sandini a while back. It was foolish of me to ask for your help again, and I promise there will be no recurrence. I don't imagine you'll receive this letter either, but I nonetheless must send it. Arthur. Oh. Arthur, I was just starting to dream the silliest and softest of dreams when I read about your recent activities in the newspaper. I miss you, and I will always miss you, but I cannot live like that, and it seems you cannot live any other way. When I'm with you, the world makes sense, but when we're apart, I see clearly that your world is not a world from which one can escape. I am so sorry for everything, for everything long ago and for starting up that business again. There's a good man within you, Arthur, but he is wrestling with a giant, and the giant wins time and again. I enclose a ring you gave me many years ago when we were both young, not because I don't like it, but because I care for it far too much and it reminds me too much of you. I hope one day you'll find some people in love who can use this, for it kept me thinking of you all these years. And I hope by returning it to you, I can finally be free. Goodbye, Mary. This is it. You okay? <laughs> Peachy. You sure? No, I ain't sure. You still working? Is anybody still working? The whole goddamn place full of people bickering, fighting, and lying. It makes me real sad. I know. I need someone to ride with me. Do what? Finish off them of Driscoll's. I hear the last of them is holed up at Hanging Dog Ranch. I don't have it in me no more. I saw Combs swing. I, I just don't care. I was a married woman. You know what they did to me and to my husband. But you're the only one of these fools that I trust. I've got to do this. Tell you what, I'll do it. But there's something you can help me with. Abigail, Jack, John, make sure they make it. I mean, this whole thing is pretty much done. But when the time comes. Or how do you mean? When the time comes, you help them. What do you mean? I mean, help them escape. When I. You know, you and me. We're more ghosts than people, but them, they, they could... I know. Of course I will. Thank you, Arthur. You want to ride with me now, or 
Meet me up at Hanging Dog Ranch when you can. Thanks, Arthur. Okay. Come on. That fella with the beard, him? He's mine. Okay. It's a big ranch. Run down. Lots of folk there. But spread pretty thin. I'll set it up. And then we'll, we'll take it from there. Take it from there? Okay. So, no real plan then. He was a good man, my Jakey. We was always sweet on one another. I'm sure. Yeah. I miss him every day, every moment. Oh, they turned me into a monster, Arthur. But my memories of him, they still pure. I ain't even got that. Aside from my Jake, you're the best man I've known. I know the company you keep. The competition ain't too fierce. <laughs> we, uh... 
We should get away from her. Yeah. I think I need to be alone for a bit. I understand. You, uh, I want to get yourself cleaned up. Thank you, Arthur. What's going on? Rebellion, the smell of cordite and integrity. It is a beautiful thing. What are you all doing? An eye for an eye. We didn't start this, Arthur. They did. We? This ain't our fat. It surely is. Whatever it is you're planning. It ain't a good idea. They want you to fight. Nobody will be killed. We're just gonna trap a few of them in the valley, disarm them, tar and feather them, and remind them to leave these boys alone. You have energy for pranks? Come on, Arthur. Just tweaking Uncle Sam's nose a little. I need you to help me. Besides, it's perfect. People will see these boys, they won't notice us, and they'll think we're gone. Everyone will blame everything on the Indian problem, and we'll disappear up the river. But first, we need to trap them in this pass. Help me dynamite up these trees. So, you're using them? No, sir. No. Never. But... It is mutually beneficial to draw attention to one problem and a veil over another. These are good people, but their situation is real complex. We ain't helping them. Sure we are. Come on, let's get this done. Dynamite, you run the wire. We'll keep a lookout from up here. I sent for some of that dynamite you and Bill commandeered in Van Horn. Good work with that, by the way. They'll play drunk. The perfect man for the job. So, you finally got to see Colm Hank. Yeah. After all those years, hard to believe. Oh, but it was worth the wait. See? We're tying up the loose ends, Arthur. One by one. I think that should do it. Come on now, quick. Get back up here. Okay, let's go, Arthur. Over here, Arthur. My spotter will let us know when they're near. They're coming now. Ah, oh, damn. The patrol's a lot larger than we thought it was going to be. <laughs> Don't worry. That's a good thing. Okay, that's the signal. Here they come. Stay low and quiet. You sure you don't want me to man that plunger, Arthur? 
No, I got it. Oh, remove the weight of the world from your shoulders for a minute. Like I said, we're just going to give them a bit of a scare. There they are. Looks like more than we thought. It's fine. We're only here to talk and administer a little good old-fashioned humiliation. You're owed that, son, at the very least. Wait for my lead, men. Everyone just stay calm. We've got the upper hand here. Okay. They've passed. Put your hands up. You're surrounded. Nobody need get hurt. Your humiliation of us has gone on quite enough. This ain't a good idea. Put down your guns. You are making a mistake, boy. No. You're making a mistake. Put your hands up, soldier. Take a little humiliation and leave these fine folks alone. Who are you? A concerned citizen. Is that so? What now? We should move. No, 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 not quite yet. Soldier, you and your friends gonna tuck tail and run off? Run! Excuse me? I'm getting bored of this. Your friends fired first, soldier! The father won't be happy about this. There's a lot of them. There's another It's the army. It is one regiment of pastry chefs and bullies. Watch your goddamn mouth. All of you, take what you can, and then we move out. Move now. We have to move now. Search these men quickly, then we move. This is crazy. Why aren't we getting out of here? They might have information on them that'll help our friends with their cause. We need anything my father can use to strengthen our case. I ain't sure much is gonna strengthen your case after this. Find anything? Yes. Some poor fool from New Jersey. These boys ain't the problem. They're only kids. Keep looking. Peter. Damn. They're sending riders from the fort. We need to leave. But where's Peter? Was he killed? He's alive. Well, that went just about according to plan. I'm trying. I'm trying, Arthur, with everything I have, and I will keep trying, and you'll keep doubting me, and we'll keep failing. It ain't like that, Dutch. Look at me. Look at me! I'm just... I'm worried about folk. I know. I... 
We should go. Where's Eagle Flies? Run, son! Run! Come on! This area is gonna be crawling with soldiers in a few minutes. We gotta leave. Now! What about Eagle Flies? We gotta go, Arthur. Come on! We need to ride hard. Stay with me. Try and sell them a little snake oil. You think? It's all I got. Get out of here. Yeah. Let's see if we can lose them down here. You're dead. Shit. I guess not. Get behind something, Arthur. This is it. This... Well, Arthur. Put your hands up. I said put your damn hands up. Okay. Okay. Follow my lead. I got a plan. This is a good one. Hello, officers. You keep them hands up and come here. Hello, Captain. Keep your hands up and come here. Come here. We, uh, we can't do that. Your man, those men they killed, they were good men. You're fighting nature, Captain. Get over here. Ask my friend here. My whole life, I tried to fight change. It's a waste. I see that. Now, it's a waste. You can't fight nature, Captain. You can't fight change. You can't fight.
You're okay. You're okay. What a mess. I know. But a mess is what we need. Oh, we just escaped from chaos. Eagle flies must have been taken. Taken or killed. Well, we can't go find out. No, not now. Charles, I'll... we'll send him. Where is it? <coughs> He's probably back at camp. Let's split up. I'll go tell him. You rest up. Then go meet him up at the reservation. We are gonna make it, brother. I can feel it. Faith, Arthur. Have faith. Thank you for coming. Of course. The chief, he's, uh... He's, he's very... Maybe you could speak to him? Yes, that's why I came. He's in his tent. Joe. I'll wait for you here. Come in. Mr. Morgan, I'm so glad you could make it. How are you? My son. My son is foolish, but he's still my son. I know your son. A little. He's very brave. Very angry. <laughs> he's mean. How is your father? He's dead a long time. I lived a lot longer than was good for any of us. My son probably wishes the same to me. <laughs> I doubt that. I want peace. I need my people to be safe. All my life I've tried to bring peace. But I love my son. They'll hang him for treason. Treason. He is the chief son of a proud nation. How could he commit treason? People who have lied to my people for a hundred years or more, that's treason. Well. What should I do? I don't think there's much chance reasoning with Colonel Favor. No. And any chance we had, your friend, Mr. Vanderland, has ensured relations between us and the Army are worse than any point in the last five years. I'm sure he means well. But matters are more complex than he understands. <laughs> Me and Charles will try and rescue your son. No. Yes, yes. I ain't got much to lose, and you got... I'm doing this. Charles! Where are you? Come on, let's go. We need to get his son back, of course. I just ain't sure how. I've been working on that. I think there's a way. Follow me. This is it. I guess it is. Let's keep quiet. I'm trying to find a way in. Main thing is that they don't hear us. You ready? Patrol group. Hopefully we'll be in now before they can come back around. out front. If you take one, I'll take the other. Nice and quiet. Uh, I know. Okay, come on. Let's see if we can get around the back. Stick to the wall. There's a guard right above us. Okay. 
Let's go. Good. Let's keep moving. Stop. Wait. Wait. Two more. One in the tower, one on the ground. Same as before. You take one, I got the other. Shot on him. Good. Let's move. Let's go. Another one up ahead. Need to waste an arrow on him. Use your knife. You deal with him. Okay. Done. Let's go. Another two ahead. One each. Same as before. Go up the tower and see if you can cause a distraction. Try to put an arrow into the lantern above that stack of wood over there. Start a fire. You should have a clear shot from the walkway up there. Is that you? Look for the keys. You have to get me out of here. We're gonna get you out. I'll check the table, Arthur. You search the body. Got him.
come on. Your father sent us? My father? He told you to come and kill guards? No, he didn't say that, he... Of course not. You okay? Sure. Enjoy being tortured. Clears the mind. If you say so. Oh, whoa, whoa. No. I'm fine, I'm fine. Damn it! I'll have to shoot our way out.
Fine in a day or so. I heal fast. Colonel Favors won't be too happy with your rescue. I guess not. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot more trouble. My father. Even he may have to fight. You won't win. No big fight with them. Shouldn't y'all just run away? Where would we go? I don't know. In front. Let me take you back to your phone. Hmm? <laughs> Thank you. No much. Yeah. <laughs> 